Hey guys, this is Woodshop Junkies and in today's video I'm going to be storing and organizing my power tool batteries and chargers with a convenient wall mounted charging station. Woodshop Junkies is going cordless, which means that I've got batteries and chargers all over the place. I want to get them stored and organized in a single storage unit, but still be able to easily remove the batteries or even the chargers when I want to use the tools on the go. Now before I jump into today's video, I want to take a moment to thank my channel partner UPAT SA as well as AEG Power Tool South Africa. Thanks to them I've got my hands on some really cool new tools that I can't wait to start using. If you are familiar with the AEG range, you will know of their quality and what these tools can do, so having them on board with my channel is a big honor. Right guys, so my charging station is going to be a wall mounted unit with easy unrestricted access from the front. For the backing I'm going to use 3 quarter inch or 18 millimeter plywood and for my shelving and the border around the backing I'm using part pine. Right, so with most of the components sized up, I'm going to start assembling the basic framework of my charging station, which is going to consist out of three sections. The battery section, the charger section, and the power cord section, because I don't like seeing power cords. Now guys, this is just going to be a workshop organizer, so for me there's no point in getting too complicated with the joinery, so I'm simply going to use screws to assemble the unit. Like I said, I want easy access to the batteries and chargers from the front of the unit, so I'm not going to hide them behind cabinet doors, but I am going to add sides to the backing to round off the project. I added cutouts to the right side panel because the batteries are going to be aligned towards the right of the unit. The cutouts will give me easy unrestricted access from the side if I want to take a battery out or insert it into the unit. Next I'm going to create a rail system for the batteries that will allow me to simply slide the battery into place when I want to store it. Now the idea behind the rail system is to mimic the slide on the power tools into which the battery would fit when it's engaged on the power tool. Now because not all the batteries are designed the same, I needed to consider the length of each different brand battery to make up the slide that will correspond with that brand. Right, so as I said, when I want to store my batteries, I want to be able to simply slide them into place. So to prevent them from getting caught on any sharp corners, I rounded the edges of the opening of the slots to act as a lead-in.
Right guys, so these blocks are going to act as a rail system allowing me to store my batteries with easy access. From here I'm going to add a tier for each different type of battery I use in my workshop. Right guys, so that's pretty much it for the battery section. Next, I'm going to focus on the chargers. Across from each set of battery, I'm going to install the relevant charger. But I need the ability to remove the charger when I want to use the tools on the go. Right guys, so that's the batteries and the chargers stored on my charging unit. I also like these little shelves because it gives me the ability to store additional components or batteries if I need to. And the chargers can easily remove when I want to use them on the go. Next I need to add a power supply to power my chargers and also do a little bit of cable management because I hate seeing cables all over the place. I'm going to be installing power sockets to the left of the unit inside a small narrow cabinet. This means that I will be able to close the cabinet to conceal the power connection and also a large part of the power cord. I am installing additional sockets for if I ever want to power a visitor charger or anything else that I want to power using this unit. All these sockets come together with a little junction from which I will run a single power cord to power the unit.
Then to transfer the power cord from the charger to the inside of the enclosure or the inside of the cabinet, I'm going to add small slots in the side of the cabinet panel. Using my miter saw to create these slots might not be the best way, but for me it is the quickest and the neatest. I also added a slot to the top of the main unit where the enclosure is going to be which will allow me to power any visitor charger that I can just put on top of the unit and power it from the same power point. At this point my project is almost complete, all that's left before I can test it is to add a door to the power enclosure and also add a power cord to power the unit.
Right, so that's pretty much it for my charging station. I guess I could have made the unit a little bit more compact, but I guess time will tell whether it is practical or not. For now, however, I am quite pleased with the results because I no longer have batteries and chargers all over the place. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, a massive thank you to my brand partner, Upat SA, for sponsoring this video. I am going to be jumping on another shop organizer. So if you guys aren't subscribed yet, you should do that now so you don't miss out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Cheers.